Hey, what's up? This is Jay Lucky Henry. So today, we're going to talk about how to use tax maps when buying a home or a property or an investment. Get ready. This is Jay Lucky Henry, Keller Williams agent in the greater Boston area. You won't believe how many people need to get real. R-E-A-L, Real Estate Explained, amazingly. Buy Lucky in 90 seconds. Give or take. Welcome back, it's Jay Lucky here. So we're talking about how to use tax maps when you're looking at a property that you wanna purchase, whether it be a new home, an investment. So the tax map is gonna give you lots of information. Now here the name, tax map. So of course you can use it for tax purposes to see what the assessed value is. Now what does the assessed value mean? Is that, well, I'm not gonna get into that. There's a whole video right here that explains what assessed values is. So come on back with me, right? Use a tax map to determine assessed value, right? Also, use a tax map to determine, is it in a flood zone, right? Do you Are you gonna require flood insurance? Get a quote from your lender if you aren't purchasing in cash, of course. Other cool things, and what I purposely like, what I personally like to use tax maps for is to check out what's the property roughly look like, the outline of the property, and by the property, I mean the entire thing, the, the whole plot. Now, this is not an official, um, drawing that's not surveyed, but it's a good estimate. It gives you an idea of how much land you're working with. And on top of that, you can do cool things like clicking show me distortion and contouring so you can see if it has enough elevation to be high enough necessary to not require flood insurance if you so didn't want to have it. Or you can check out things like, hey, this is wetland, this is potentially billable land because it does give you little sketch outlines like, hey, this is 30 feet from here, 10 feet from there. So you can kind of get a gauge, look at a property, see. All right, I see the way it's positioned. I see how much land I have. Here are some of the things I could do without having it professionally surveyed right away, right? Of course, you should definitely get it surveyed to get exact, but this, you can use attack maps on each city, town's website. They have a location in online services, field cards, map, taxes, they all name it differently, but it's they're basically an MIP, map interactive program that you can get on and play with. Super cool when you're looking at properties. Now, if this seems like a lot of steps for you, and you're like, mm, I wish someone would make it easier for me. I know a guy, all right? His name is J. Lucky Henry, and he'll do it for you on your property if you're considering buying in the Boston area. This is J. Lucky Henry, and I'm here to keep it real with you. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, call or text 978-712-0244, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more.